On Friday, May 2nd, Actina FM and Actina TV hosted at the Historic Theatre of the Town Hall their annual concert featuring this year the legendary Greek singer Manolis Mitsias. <laughs> People from all walks of life and ages, Greek and non-Greek, packed the theater and enjoyed a memorable musical tribute to great Greek composers of rebetica, contemporary and popular folk songs. Organized by Actina Productions Incorporated, the concert was part of the organization's ongoing musical series Greek Music Journey, which was established back in 1994. The concert also constituted Actina's main event for 2008 to celebrate uh, the organization's and Actina FM's 15th year anniversary. Manolis Mitsias was accompanied by his uh, orchestra, comprised by some of the finest and most respected musicians in the Greek music industry, led by Buzuki maestro Manolis Yorgostathis, who was the musical director and in charge of the orchestration, and the very talented singer Chrissy Stefanaki. <laughs> Mitsias, who was welcomed on stage with a standing ovation from the audience, revived some of the most representative and classic songs of the Greek music repertoire in a most successful and memorable performance that left everyone in attendance ecstatic. From beginning to end, people were fully engaged, uh, keeping rhythm by singing and clapping along. Orchestra comprised by the two talented Buzuki players Manolis Yorostatis and Iraklis Zagas was also captivating in their solos and especially in the instrumentals Zorpa the Greek by Theodorakis and Evdokias Zeybekiko by Manos Loizos. The new and upcoming singer Chrissy Stefanaki was also outstanding and received a very warm and enthusiastic applause for her performance. The concert started at 9 p.m. sharp as advertised and uh, surpassed the two-hour limit as people refused to leave, asking for more and more. The unique surprise of the evening was at the top of the show when Mitsias started the program with a beautiful Byzantine hymn to emphasize the connection of this type of music to the rebetica contemporary and popular folk songs which followed. Subtitled From Marcos Vavagaris to Manos Loizos, this year's Greek music journey highlighted songs by important composers from several different eras, starting from the 1930s with the father of the Rebetica, Marcos Vavagaris, and stretching all the way to the 1980s and beyond to include the everlasting Rembetica and popular folk songs of Tsitsanis, Papa Ioannou, Agis Panou, and many others, and then the contemporary songs of renowned and award-winning composers such as Hadzidakis and Theodorakis, while a special tribute was also paid to the songs of the late Manos Loizos, one of the most important contemporary composers of the 1980s. Supported with slides and video highlighting beautiful sights of Greece and the featured uh, composers and their work, the concert was even more captivating for everyone in attendance. The second part of the program was dedicated to some of the most representative songs recorded by Mitsias over the years during his impressive and successful 40-year career. In a second standing ovation at the end of the program, accompanied by non-stop applause and cheering, the audience kept asking for more songs and despite the time restraints, Mitsias remained and performed for an additional 25 minutes. 
He concluded his performance with two beautiful songs by Greek Cypriot composer Mario Stokas, who had passed away just a week prior to the concert. Manolis Mitias was uh, the one who introduced Mario Stokas to the Greek music industry after collaborating with him in 1978 and releasing together the successful long play album Tatragudia της Pareas, composed and written by Tokas and solo performed by Mitias. Manolis Mitias truly captivated and enthused the audience with his performance as well as with his ethos and humble character and certainly the two standing ovations he received at the beginning and at the end of his concert were very much deserved. Critics and all of those in attendance hailed the concert as one of the best and most successful Greek musical productions ever presented in New York. Mitias was also extremely happy and pleased with the uh, very warm reception and response of the crowd, with the entire production and organization, and more importantly, for being selected to present for the first time ever a concert with such a unique theme. The concert was uh, produced by your host and was supported in part by the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, leading members and businesses of the Greek and Greek Cypriot American community. The Greek satellite channels Antenna and Bloom Music enlisted again this year as media sponsors and Telis Taverna in Astoria was uh, the official caterer. The next uh, Greek music journey has already been booked at the Town Hall for Friday, May 1st, 2009, when Actina Productions Incorporated will bring to New Yorkers another memorable concert with new talent from Greece in a new and unique musical tribute. Shall I continue what uh, started with this Greek music journey? What do you think? Shall I do it more? Okay. I loved it. it. It was beautiful. It was it was great to see uh, Mr. Mitias uh, performing in New York. Absolutely. Please do it again. What did you like the most uh, from tonight's performance? Everything. <laughs> the songs, the performance, the orchestra was fantastic. And also the fact that she went back to, you know, all those uh, composers. composers. Yeah, it was excellent. It was a great... It was very, it was outstanding. It reminded me a lot of very old songs that I haven't heard for ages. It was a, I think it was a big success. As I can judge from the number of people that uh, attended and watched the uh, Manolis Messias.